It's quite difficult to say because you can't really predict the future in terms of how other clubs uh, will be able to operate. But certainly from our perspective, we think that's the right way to go. But I don't think we've gone quite far enough yet. I think what we need to do is really implement a salary cap because at the moment we've created such a false market in the Premiership and the Championship, particularly this season where I think some of the Premiership clubs are panicking because they want to keep their status as a Premiership team. Everybody's buying all these players and because we're all competing for the same small talent pool, Pool, the market price of these players is inflating all the time and that's just not sustainable. Uh, so it, it's really disappointing, I think, to see the, the negativity of this new structure from the Premiership clubs. And I think they've been quite insular uh, and very vitriolic, actually, because I, I came out as, a, as you say, an outspoken defender of this new, new policy because it was a very thorough and professional process that took into consideration everybody's opinions. And unfortunately, when you do a consultation, some people aren't going to be happy. And I think the nub of this issue for the Premiership clubs isn't about the new structure, isn't about the A-teams, it's about a loss of funding. Well, unfortunately, clubs are going to have to, to find a way to cut their cloth accordingly. Uh, we've always been fortunate, and I don't pretend to be something we're not. We're a club that is propped up by a benefactor, which happens to be my father. But we are a professional club. Everything we do is professional. Uh, it just so happens that we're a semi-professional club in a semi-professional environment. I don't think personally that taking the Premiership uh, to an amateur status is the right way to go. I think the standard would drop considerably. And plus, I'm, I defend the fact that we pay players. A lot of these players are away from their families three times a week. They have regimented gym programs which they have to follow on a daily basis. They have KPIs to, to measure their fitness. This is a really professional approach that we're taking to Welsh Club Rugby. And I think that if we allow the game to go amateur at this level, it'll be a backward step. What we have to do is implement a salary cap so that we can still remunerate players, but we're doing it at a level which is sensible and sustainable. And it will mean that not one or two clubs can run away with a division by spending endless bags of cash. Uh, instead, we have a neutral playing field where everyone has the chance to succeed, but we still remunerate players to keep standards high.